Hi, and welcome to Ear Deals, Australia's leading hearing aid brokers. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the Signia Silk X, third generation of the Silk on the Experience platform, which is the latest in November 2020. What really made the Silk so unique when it was first launched many years ago was its size and its shape. The size of the hearing aid is highly discreet and it fits comfortably and discreetly inside the ear canal. The shape and what makes it so unique is the fact that it doesn't require a custom mold. In the category that the silk fits, every other manufacturer out there requires a custom mold to be taken of the hearing aid. Now what happens here is the audiologist puts a solution down the ear canal of the wearer and then sends that mold after it's solidified away to the manufacturer. Those molds are then created, the hearing aid is then put together and it's sent back to your audiologist for its day of fitting. The silk, however, does not require this. It comes with a series of silicon sleeves in a variety of shapes and sizes that provides the hearing aid the ability to lock into the majority of ear canals. Finally, this hearing aid is highly lifestyle dependent. If you're a busy, active person that's still playing a bit of sport, is socializing on regular occasions, or you're simply looking for a hearing aid that you can wear some of the time, the Silk's very easy to pull in and pull out of the ear canal. If you'd like to know more about this hearing aid, please stick around because we go into a lot more detail further on. The Signia Silk X comes in five technology levels. The 1 and 2X in Essential, the 3X at Standard, 5X in Advanced, and 7X at Premium. The X stands for Experience, which is the latest technology software from Signia in 2020. But what do technology levels actually mean for those people who are considering hearing aids for the first time? Well, as you go higher up the range, you're essentially unlocking greater functionality of that hearing aid in noisy environments, being able to listen to music, getting better clarity of voices in noisy environments, automation and directionality of the hearing aid's microphones in certain environments to give you better clarity and ease of hearing in difficult to hear situations. When you're considering hearing aid technology, the higher you go up the range, the higher is the price. Additional to that, the final component is obviously the level of hearing loss. Someone who's got a higher level of hearing loss is obviously gonna require greater help. Now you will achieve this in lower levels. However, for the reasons I've just discussed, as you go higher in the levels, things like clarity become really important for someone with a significant hearing loss. So obviously, when you're selecting a hearing aid technology, if your lifestyle is relatively limited and you're not very active, you're somebody that only has small demands on your hearing and your budget's not great, then you can go with a lower level hearing aid technology level. If you're someone who's still working, uh, you still have high demands on your hearing and capabilities of being able to hear in certain important environments are paramount for you to be able to live, then you are going to find a better ease of listening with a higher level technology. The Signia Silk has two key accessories, the Mini Pocket and the Signia App. Both do virtually the same thing, however the Mini Pocket has less features. However, it's simpler to use, comes at an additional cost, and is small enough to fit on the key ring of your car keys. It's designed to give you basic adjustments such as program and volume. The Signia app is free and can be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play Store onto your Android or Apple phone. It allows you the same basic functionalities as the Mini Pocket, but also gives you additional features for adjustments and linking with your clinic. The Signia Silk also is available in a Cros version, which is really exciting for those people with hearing loss that is one-sided, or they have a significant hearing loss on one side in a dead ear and some hearing loss on the other side. The primary purpose of the Signia Silk Cros 
is to basically pick up sound on one side of the head on the dead ear and transmit that sound to the hearing aid on the opposite side in the good ear. By doing this, what it provides the person with single-sided deafness is more situational awareness. The Signia Silk X is an incredibly easy hearing aid to use in the sense that you simply close the battery door, the hearing aid's on, you place it in the ear canal and you're good to go. The types of people that are using the Silk more generally are people that are using the hearing aid sporadically, meaning they might use it for instance when they go to a meeting or if they're going to a golf course where they typically struggle to hear people across further distances. When it comes to usability, the easiest way to adjust the hearing aid is either through the mini pocket remote or using the app, which is free to download from the Apple or Google store. All in all, it's a great fitting hearing aid that fits the majority of ear canals. It can be fitted on exactly the same day as your hearing test, so you can trial it straight away. And it also lends itself to being used sporadically when and where you need it. When it comes to the Silk, it's all about size and the battery that it takes, which is replaceable, is exactly the same. It uses a size P10 battery, which is the smallest in the entire replaceable battery range. For those of you who have worn hearing aids before, this is the Canary Yellow Box. The battery itself will last anywhere between two to five days. However, it is vastly dependent upon how you're using the hearing aid. If you're using the hearing aid more as just a hearing aid, then basically the silk will get closer to the five day period. However, if you're streaming on the silk a lot more, meaning that you're taking more phone calls, you're listening to music, podcasts, or YouTube videos like this one, it will obviously drain the battery faster, and that's where we see it at the lower end of the scale around two days. If there were some considerations to make about the Signia Silk, it had come down to its battery. Now, the Signia Silk is not available in a rechargeable battery option, so if you're somebody who's looking for a rechargeable battery and you're not willing to budge on that, the Signia Silk's not gonna be right for you. However, there is no in the canal device that's rechargeable at this point. So if you're weighing up between what device is gonna be right for you from a discretion perspective, you're going to have to sacrifice one or the other, discretion or battery life. The battery life of the Signia Silk, as discussed earlier, goes between two to five days, depending on the amount of streaming of phone calls, music, podcasts, TV, etc. So you need to take that into consideration. If you're somebody who's gonna be taking a lot of phone calls, you may be required to change your batteries more regularly. All in all, it's hard to be critical of the Silk. And the reason for that is it's been so successful, it's in its third generation, and to date, we still have clients calling us regularly, requesting this device with a high satisfaction level.